Hello and welcome to church. It's great to meet together to worship our great God. Now, when you came into church today, you should have received a handout and a Green Connect card. If you're new or visiting today, it is wonderful to have you here with us. We would love you to take a moment to fill in the Connect card so that we can be in touch with you. This card can also be used for comments about the service, questions or prayer requests. We love hearing from you. Here is what's happening around your church in the coming weeks. Sometimes amidst the busyness of life, it can be difficult to take time out to meet with other members of our church family. Uh, this Saturday, uh, you are invited for a walk and talk in Castle Hill. Now, this event is for everyone. It's a great opportunity to walk through God's beautiful creation, to hang out some, with, other, with other TAC members and enjoy some great fellowship together. The gentle bush walk will last for about an hour, then bring along a, a picnic morning tea or lunch to enjoy at the end of the walk. That's Saturday, April 8th, 10 a.m. Eric Mobs Reserve in Castle Hill. Uh, for directions, for more info, uh, visit our website, attack.church. Hope to see you there. It's hard to believe that this term is nearly over and that Easter is almost upon us. We can become so swept up in the end of term craziness and holiday planning that we can lose sight of the significance of what Jesus has done for us on the cross. In last week's article on the handout, Katie challenged us to spend some time preparing our hearts for Easter by reflecting on Jesus' journey to the cross. Keep our Easter events in your prayers and be thinking about who you might invite to hear more about the life-changing news of the cross. Don't forget to pick up our Easter flyer and use it to invite people along to Easter services, the stargazing event and the Anzac church service. We are still looking for volunteers to deliver flyers in our local neighbourhood, so please grab a bundle from the back of the church hall and put your walking shoes on this week. Okay, there's two kind of admin things on to remind you about. The first one is that we aim to keep TAC um, a nut-free zone during the whole week uh, to the best of our ability. So please don't be bringing packets of nuts, cakes covered in nuts, chocolate with nuts in it. You get the idea. Uh, even if no one in your activity uh, has an issue with nuts, this is a shared site. We just don't know who's going to be there next. Um, it's actually really important. Please help us out with this. Also, if you leave unlabeled food in the fridge at church, I'm probably going to eat it during the week, just so you know. Uh, secondly, we've been talking about uh, for weeks about our new logo. It's been in church news uh, on the email and Facebook. We've come up with something we really like. Um, time is running out for your feedback, your comments. The little brochure that is still there at the back of the church uh, for you to have a look at if you um, have any questions about that. Thanks. Last week, we started our new series on Isaiah. God had some strong words for his people who were in a mess. They had the outward appearance of religion, but their hearts were far away. Raj challenged us to consider our own hearts and whether we are just going through the motions. We hope that you are challenged and encouraged by this series, which asks us to look backward to God's words to his people through the prophet Isaiah and to look forward to God's amazing promises for the future. Thanks for being here today.